This is SAT test one, calculator question number 38. College Board gives us a long word problem and asks us to compare the final amounts for two exponential growth problems. Jessica's account grows at 2% interest, starting with $100, and Tyshawn's account grows at 2.5% interest, also starting with $100. Since this is a calculator question, I'm going to enter both equations into the calculator. Your amount equals your principal. So the amount at time t is the principal. Your starting amount times 1 plus r, your interest rate, to the t, where t is in years if your interest rate is an annual rate. So for Jessica, j of t is 100, 1 plus 0 0.02 to the t. And for Taishan, uppercase t of t is also 100, 1 plus 0 0.025 to the t. I enter those into y1 and y2 on my graphing calculator, and I look at the tables. At time 0, they both have $100, which reassures me I entered it correctly. At time 1, Jessica has $102, and Taishan has $102.50, which is 2% interest for Jessica to go to 102, and 2.5% to go from 100 to 102.5. So that sounds like I've entered them correctly. At 10 years, Jessica at 10 years has 121.899, which I'm going to round to 0 0.90. I should probably keep an extra decimal place, but looking at Taishan, I see I'm not going to need that. Taishan at, at 10 years has 128.899. 0, 0, 008, which rounds to zero, 01. If I subtract, I get t at time 10 minus j at time 10 equals $6.11. They say grid to the nearest cent, not round down on cents, which some people are taught to do. They say nearest cent, so we do nearest cent. And six dollars eleven cents and that would be the answer make sure you can write the equation for exponential growth or decay using your amount is one plus r to the t for annual compounding and come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more